This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Take a moment to look up tonight and you'll see a supersized moon lighting up the night sky. It'll be bigger, brighter and closer than any other full moon this year, coming 34 kilometres nearer than normal. Here's how it looked rising over Auckland City just a short time ago. The ABC's David Muir now explains the science behind the supermoon. Who could forget that famous flight, E.T. in silhouette? George Bailey offering up the moon like the and it's moon? a wonderful life. Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. And if you look up into the sky tonight, chances are you'll be starstruck again. Or should we say moonstruck? The supermoon, the biggest and brightest full moon of the year. And it turns out not all full moons are created equal. That's because the moon's orbit around the Earth isn't a perfect circle, it's an ellipse. And tonight's moon, known as Apergee Full Moon, will be closest to Earth at the exact moment when it becomes full at a mere 221,000 miles away. That's 17,000 miles closer than the typical full moon. And it's that proximity that will give us a view 30% brighter, 14% bigger. Bigger than everything it illuminates. Look at these images from the last supermoon. The trees dwarf, the people like specks on the horizon, that plane. Imagine being on that flight. And one more spectacle in the sky to look for, those tiny specks captured by NASA telescopes here. Those are fireballs, a meteor shower, all pieces of debris from Halley's Comet. This year, the peak will occur tonight into tomorrow. Scientists say about 40 to 60 meteors per hour. All of them perhaps a little more difficult to spot because of that well-lit, well-defined sky. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.